How do you ask for sx respectfully? Are you horny? You are? Cool cool wanna? You know? Yeah cool. Dear sir slash madam. I am writing to inform you of a recent development in my genital region. Upon viewing your countenance, it has come to my attention that a merger of our two aforementioned regions would be profitable for both of us, as my own region is primed for such a business endeavor. I do hope you consider this proposal favorably, and if so I will be more than happy to book in some time with you to go through the finer details of this arrangement, positioning, length of contract, act. If you could let me know your decision on this matter by the end of the week we can get the balls rolling. Sincerely, a horny male slash female. For me, especially if it's with someone I haven't been with before but we are getting more intimate, I literally just ask would you like to have sx? Never had a problem with this in terms of their reaction to it, positive or negative. I knew a dude who was a pretty big cunt, but before he was a cunt, his gf told me that he would always just say consent. When asking for a sex, I'm married, kiss the neck, fondle the booby, see if something happens. As a married guy, I find most of the time it involves one or the other looking over at the other, making eye contact and then saying sxxx, in a silly voice. Seems to work. Should I put on my robe and wizard hat? I'm married. 1fk, is as respectful as we get. Assume the courting position then proceed with the ceremonial mating call. Sx is not a solo activity with a gatekeeper. You don't ask for a game of tennis, you invite someone to play with you. Salutations my lady. Might I inquire as to whether you wish to engage in coitus? One time my husband asked me to hold his hand. As he took my hand he said, funny thing is, my hand is actually my penis. Romance. Please, sir slash madam. I want some more. A baby ever get your asshole licked by a fat man in an overcoat? I believe you have to send them a formal invite to the no pants dance. A better question is how do you do it in a sexy way? Try phrases like can I underscore? Would you like me to underscore? There are also clear nonverbal cues in some instances, I, E. If they start taking their clothes off you can too. You slowly escalate. If at any point they seem uncomfortable you stop. Would you mind passing the pussy, please? This is all you need to know. Flight of the Concords, it's business time, YouTube. Hey, would you like to come back to mine? Honestly, if you know they're interested, invite them over for dinner, cuddle. And if the energy is right ask them if they would like to spend the night. If they say yes it's pretty apparent that they're down. Doesn't really matter how you ask. Listening to the answer is where the respect is. Please sleep with me, please, pretty please. I'm so lonely. I haven't slept with anyone in a very long time and you are so good looking. Please do me the favor of having sx with me. Jeff Winger. With all due respect I'ma shove this dk up in there. I'm holding a thousand shares of GameStop. You and me baby, are nothing but mammals so let's do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel. Respected sir slash madam, if you are not in your hibernation, could we mate now? Please sleep with me, please, pretty please, I'm so lonely. I haven't slept with anyone in a very long time, and you are so good looking. Please do me the favor of having sx with me. Ask if they want draw up a sex agreement nothing gets people more excited than paperwork, also they know that you're taking it super serious. Her, fk you me. FK me yourself cowarder, want, me, please. Excuse me madam, would you be so kind to relieve my buildup of semen with your orifices? Do I have the permission to acquaint my genitalia with yours? Can you be the sheath for my sword? Girl, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Might I inquire as to the prospect of a little rumpy pumpy? I ask sx peacefully like, hello mum do you want to connect to my stick? Fancy a shag for old time's sake? Actually worked with an xgf. Serious answer, you don't ask, you offer. SX is not a favor someone does for you. It's an activity you choose to do together. Framing things in the proper way can change how we think about them and change how we communicate and react to others. My wife just agended an appointment for SX on Wednesday morning, because the kids will all be out. It's been so long, I've stopped asking more or less permanently. Something will happen before Wednesday morning that will cancel the appointment, I'm pretty sure. Something always does. FML. Would you like some making fk berserker? I ask my wife if she wants me to kiss her pussy. No reason to bullshit. Everyone likes head. When my husband and I were still in our dating phase, our first time being intimate started with the usual kissing and such. I thought it was a foregone conclusion what was going transpire but he stopped suddenly and asked may I make love to you? To which I of course answered please do. May I please stick my penis inside your mouth, vagina and butthole? 
Do you want to take an aspirin? No way. I don't have a headache. Okay then. No excuses let's fk. Dot. Old but gold. I thought Reddit was for virgins only. Depends on context and the nature of your relationship. One of my partners was pretty timid and although loved SX I had to be coy and charming. That was her turn on. Next partner all I had to do was send a text like you better be oiled up and naked in handcuffs when I get home or I am throwing you out on the street. People are all different. There is no way to ask for a sex. You just need to learn how to talk to and learn people. Once you learn a person, you won't be confused about how to ask them for things. It'll give you a nickel if you tickle my pickle. Help step bro. I'm stuck in the washing machine. Probably helps to learn their name first. Shout at them from across a crowded stadium. Skks. If you don't know you aren't ready to have SX yet. Do you want to have SX? Not that complicated. Please sir. May I have some more? When I was 32, I asked a friend's friend for a sex. She was 21. She said yes. We made a date and I paid for a shared and hotel room. Now, I've been turned down a lot with more subtle asks, but that time, since there was some new chemistry, it worked. I'm a geeky Indian guy, BTW. Tall, kinda fat. I was in shape then. Some hope from us guys who don't get a lot of screen time. Tap on shoulder, excuse me but would you like to breed? If you are a woman all you need to do is ask. If you are a guy, you might be perceived as a pervert for just asking. It's a double standard guys have to live with. I don't think you do. Even asking is putting it in the wrong perspective. You can make an offer, by saying something like hey, partner, I wanted to let you know I'm 100% in the mood to be intimate slash sexy slash insert your preferred vernacular here. Accept that they might not be, and don't pressure them just make the offer from a place of confident vulnerability. Did I ever tell you the time I went backpacking through Western Europe? I honestly grasped the hand of the girl I'm dating and say, can we have affection time please? While leading her to the bedroom. It works every time and has a direct yet harmless appeal. You don't ask she'll let you know when you can take PP out. My wife and I always did a Borat impression and asked one another if they we would like to have the sexy time. May I insert my phallus into your rectum? Well this is what I text my wife earlier in the week if I may be so cordial as to pronounce my desires that my loins yearn for would my lady return the inclination. Do you want to engage in completely human sexual activity for reproduction purposes? Kind of depends on the situation. Are you dating the person? Is there only a mutual attraction? Have there been any hints dropped? Etc. That being said, I've never asked for a sex. I guess I've always just known when the mood is right when the date is nearing conclusion. It just comes down to what you're comfortable with doing. If you don't want to be assertive, then being blunt could be a decent option. I like you a lot, and I really feel like we've connected. I want to be as respectful as possible though, so do you want me to hit it from the back? Do you want to get naked and have a cuddle? When I wasn't single as I am today, it was all about nonverbal cues. A series of kisses or light nibbling of the neck is a good one. Light grazing with fingers or nails up the back or on the thighs. A cuddle with a bit too much of the hips. A rejection of those is pretty apparent as well. Hands getting moved, progression stopped, or maybe it was just not tonight, sweetie. Hello madam, I would like to have the sexual intercourse colloquially called coitus with you. In other words let's fk or let's get naked and let me stick my dong on your clam. I'm just so glad I'm not in the dating world these days. I would absolutely crack up and be turned off, with someone asking permission to, hold hands slash kiss slash hug etc. However for me and my partner, we don't really ask. If he is busy and I want it and the subtle hints aren't working. I normally just blurt out om come fk me or something along those lines. Normally though it's just wordless seduction, constant flirting, feeling each other up etc. Normal partner flirtation I guess.